like this one. We are out. We're talking about a good time. We're chasing every moment, all the good nights. We're always looking out, and it's a good life. We go around the world for a show. trail stand now so they've got a mixture of motorhomes and a camper van and a few of these are actually new for 2019 so we are going to start with this one and we'll work our way through so this is the 2019 impala range which is where i'm at at the moment there are seven different models in the range this one is the impala 734 Let's go and have a look. I've never really spent much time in auto trails. But nice seating area here. I'm going to step back a bit, you can see it. I like the fact that the front seats change. They've got some good lockers over here. Somebody recommended this as a good place to... Here we go, I'm trying to open lockers again. That's a great place to put your bedding when this turns into a double bed. Got a nice big big sink actually with a very useful cover over it. Fridge, lots of drawers. I like drawers. You know it's like oh cutlery drawer. So that's a cutlery drawer. I'm guessing that's a utensil drawer. Nice huge oven with a separate grill and hob. Love that. This is one of those things that presses down, I guess. There we go. How do I do this without causing chaos like that? Oh well, that's quite clever. If it's down like that, I won't go any further because it doesn't want to go. Shh, no one knows. Microwave, more cupboard space. That's quite neat. And under here, got, could be twin beds. They look quite short. I'm guessing they're six foot. And does this pull out or is this a, no, that's a drawer. So it is twin beds. Unless there's a way of, no, you've got storage under there and storage under there, but I think they are twins. Let's have a look in the bathroom. Oh, a big shower. Decent shower. I've not done an auto trail yet, so shall we do our funky chicken test? Hi, guys. Yeah, okay. We've got elbow room. We've got a headroom. Yeah, it's quite nice, actually. It is quite nice. So there's the shot of the dashboard with a TV player which flicks up into here. And that's the van from all the way back the front. Dashboard's your fairly standard setup. You get these in pretty much every motel, be it base. Oh, quite worth lots of storage. Love the storage. Not sure on the lime green, but that's my personal taste. I like it. I do like it. Let's go see some more. Now this is another 2019 show model. This is the 625. So this has got the end lounge which converts into a double bed. That's interesting. So this is only six meters long. How wide heavy is it? Gross weight three and a half tons. So you can drive this on a normal I like the umbrella holder. That's neat. So you've got front seats that swivel, but I'm not sure how you'd get two people sitting in there. Surely your knees would bash if you're going to do that. And then you've got the end lounge, which I love. Huge oven and hob again, sink and the fridge. Let's see if there's a freezer compartment in here. Oh yeah, there is. Nice. Microwave up there. Now oh, that's an interesting heater. True, mob, but it's not all the way through. Not seen one of them for a while. Normally you get it underneath and it goes all the way in. See, it's a comfy. Actually, to be fair, it is quite comfy. Quite light as well. I know we've got all the LEDs in here. Wardrobe. 
bathroom, pretty much identical to the last one. Feels quite utilitarian, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like the way that the table stores in there, that's quite neat. This just feels a bit cramped. I don't really know why. I love the storage at the top, but this just feels a bit... Yeah, if I'm sitting here, if I hold it there, if I'm sitting here, how on earth is somebody else going to sit there? Hmm. Not sure about that. Not sure about that at all. All right, that's the 625. Let's see what else we can find. This is a 615. We're getting smaller and smaller. This has got an in-kitchen. Okay. This is a similar layout to the Bailey we saw yesterday. Got your bathroom. There's your fridge. And a cupboard for the table, which is quite neat. And then that turns into your bed. That, you've got a lot more space there for the seating. Standard dashboard. This one feels more spacious, weirdly, even though it's smaller than the last one. I think because it hasn't got that big wall in the way where the bathroom was. Okay, quite impressed with these. Let's see what's under the sink. Oh, it's locked. There we go. This is the brand new Contiki, brand new to the show, the 675 Lounge. I love the colour scheme on that, really pretty. I mean, it's huge, it's an enormous van. But what I really like is it has a stargazer window and that rolls up. So you've got the entire thing that just sort of goes, which honestly is just amazing. And then under here, you've got an enormous garage. I mean, I could literally live in here. It could be like Jade's room. Hi. Okay, that's all right. Here we go. Oh, so you've got an enormous drop down bed at the front there. Huge lounge area. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the black. Nice kitchen. Oh my goodness me. Right, so this is the bathroom. So you've got a big shower, you've got huge wardrobe. I'm gonna do the funky chicken in this. Right, sorry, coming in. Mm, it's okay, it's okay. It's not as big as some we've been in. And then you've got, hi, nice cupboard. I mean, it's a huge space for bathroom massive space and then you've got an end bed it's obviously really high because it's above the garage and this is this window that just comes back so the whole thing sort of lifts up at the back which is okay i mean it's a huge bed massive bed monster room and you can get can you get under there oh no that's the bit that pulls out there you get under there you've got a secondary bit in there nice it's enormous if you want an end bed machine but it's like 150 grand it's a lot of money so looking forward let's have a look around at this kitchen enormous hob with a separate grill and an oven lots of cupboard space huge amounts of cupboard space you could 100% live in this van microwave massive fridge and freezer more cupboard space up there. Lots of shelves and things. Ooh, and under here, there's like, is it the Audi heating? And then there's lots of cupboards. Ooh. I need to find a way of like attaching you to my head, don't I? So that is a big bed, huge bed. And then you've got the seating. Now what's interesting is you can see, if I sit there, you can see all the way through, you can see the height different. I mean, this thing is enormous. I really don't like the black. 
it kind of works but no and then on the dashboard you've got typical dashboard it hasn't got the crank so I've been on about a skylight for ages and this is the 670 Coral. But just look up. It's like the most enormous skylight and roof and cupboards. I love this area. No, I mean, That's really pretty. We'll go into the galley. Under there you've got a decent hob actually. You've got an oven. Lots of drawer space. And then you've got drawer space above. Cupboard space. And then on this side you've got an enormous fridge freezer. You've got a standalone shower. I'm fairly certain I couldn't do the chicken test on. And then you've got a separate toilet and sink, which is really smart, I like that. And then I actually, someone who doesn't particularly like a fixed bed at the end, really like that with enormous cupboard space underneath. And then this bit pulls out, you've got a huge trouble. But honestly, the selling point for me is that roof. Underneath that massive bed, we've got, oh. Wow, a humongous gap. I didn't expect there to be a load of people's stuff in there. It's huge. I like that, I think that's really smart. This is the Adria 590 ST. Full berth. Well under. Huge locker. Yeah, it's quite a good Really one. like that. Yeah, it's good. Oh, can you? Is the roof strong enough to walk on or not? Uh, I've put, probably put a scaffolding plank across. I'm told it is, but I'd probably yeah. put them on the rails. Who said Pete? Somebody said Pete. Thanks, lady in there. All right, Emma, I'll leave you to it. Must have her own feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what would I do? I'm out now. Oh, I like this one. This one's pretty love this space this space falls into a huge double bed and then up there is the drop down bed it, is, it was a bit quicker than this this morning to be fair well it's got up and i mean that's it's not a problem, a problem is it? Problem, it? that's like so neat uh if i put pressure on it it'd probably won't it'd probably stop you got a bit more if you want Bit more, another couple of inches. Go on, so you can see the bed. Go on. Go on, oh, go on with it. There you go. But it will, without the headrests in, this will come down to sit on the top of there. It's actually it's huge. quite a big bed, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. Both these seats to swivel around. I'll go to the dashboard in a bit. So you've got, I've got headroom underneath that. You've got locker space here. You've got ooh, separate freezer and fridge, which I like a lot actually. Don't think that's anything under there. No, it's not. Big cupboard, which I think has got a TV bracket in it. Yeah, it and then you've got a lovely washroom with a ladder to get up to your bed. That's not a bad place to put it, to be fair. Hang your towels on that. And then in here, hello, gang. 
in mm. here you've got proper cupboards I like proper cupboards and that is your sink which is kind of fun and then the all-important wardrobe which is fairly decent size you've got some nice shelves back there for books and knickknacks and then under here you can get into the garage again not that you can probably see much because it's dark you can get into there then you have got not bad size oven it's not small but it's only a tiny motome cutlery drawer and utensils and i love this drawer proper massive big pan drawer uh oh i think that's like for spices and things there's a slightly bigger one under there for other stuff and then a big locker at the bottom and then you've got more cupboards up there and an extractor and then you've got that will be a skylight i like this one it's a 5.9 meter motorhome it's an adria never really looked at adrias right then Oh sweet, it's got an external shower for the dog. And I like, I love that. That's really nice. What does that do? That's got to come down somehow. Yeah, okay, maybe not. The reason for the key is really for children. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously, you know, they do tend to do some strange oh, things. Um, the buttons are just behind oh, you. Sorry. There. That's fine, you can press them. Where are they? So, oh, so the first one is the. Um, no, you need to press the table first. So that's the, the one in the that middle. One? That one. So we get the table out of the way. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. And there is a manual override. Is there? Okay. Yeah. So that'll do for the table. And then you can bring the bed down. That's quick, the bed. Mm. And it will go, obviously. Right the way down, we've got the cushions there, so you Stamp get the feel, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, it'll, it'll, it'll flop a bit funny, come on, a bit more, and there, that's it, it wow. will go a little bit lower than that, but it's great, so it's it's a proper mattress on a proper wooden slatted yeah. frame, so it's very comfortable, leave it made up obviously with the pillows and, and it's, it and can still go up with all the, because the problem yeah, we've yeah. got with our bed, is it can't go up when you've got it all made up and things mm. in the cupboards. So there's no cupboards on it, is there? No, that's right. So, so I put it back up so again? Yeah, so just put it back up again. A little bit slower on the up, obviously. Yeah. So it's held. The weight is taken by the strap. Yeah. So the Same rigidity yeah. is in the... On the rails. On the rails. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's a... So that goes all the way bit. up? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then you... Next is one. that all the way up there? With the, so it's got... Yeah, so you've got plenty of room. You've got plenty um, of room. It was a 696. Uh, 496. Which is the uh, 7.8 metre. Oh, okay, so it's quite a big boy, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you bought that, presumably, uh, second hand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's a year old. Mm -hmm. well, okay, well, that's not bad. Get all the niggles and stuff out of the way. So. That was the whole point of a year old. Yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah it's quite a nice little van, isn't it? It's lovely. I wasn't sure about this huge thing at the back, but actually I quite like it. I'm going to zip myself inside. And why would you put the handle there? Oh, it's slime. Oh, that wasn't as stupid as I thought it was. And you've got a shower there. I can pink a chicken. space for cushions and shoes and t-shirts and things and you've got a massive mirror because honestly you don't always have a massive mirror in a bedroom really, this is a brilliant space you get ready i thought i was stuck in them no 
there, they're the ones because it's a 514. Same sort of size, similar sort of setup. Um, basically, it's got a looked at chaussons but honestly I'm quite impressed and that is I sit at the front here that's the van with the bed it's lovely I really like it it's really neat we found the eldest which is identical to our van so it's an Elders 196, an AutoQuest. I think it's got exactly the same layout. It's even got a drop down bed. Ooh, never really looked at Elders. It's got a huge galley area, it's got a hob and an oven. Nice, massive galley area. And then this, which I'm guessing, drops into a double bed. It hasn't got the bed at the back, which isn't the end of the world. It's lovely. Got a wardrobe full of things. Let's have a look at the bathroom. More to make or break a van. Okay, so it's a wet room, so you haven't got a separate shower. never ever ever known that these things existed awesome hair I like I your hair know. and at the front you've got we've got a thing i've got to have a look at the oh god here we go i can't figure out how to open them there we are then this seat swivels this one i don't know if it does or not it might be fixed actually looking at it and then there's the dashboard i'm quite impressed it's got curtains that come all the way round. There's a rail all the way round. It's nice and light and bright, isn't it? I like the adjustable headdress on the back. That's really sweet. And then this bed comes all the way down. Ooh, let's go see how much it weighs. It's got, what's it got in there? It's got your water heating and normal heating. It's got all your things. Mm. It's a six berth, 196, and the weight is, am I being really blind? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, how much does the weight, what's the weight on this one? Am I being really blind? Uh, oh, it's there. It's all there somewhere. There we go. Payload. That's in running order. Yeah. That includes a fuel tank of fuel. Wow. That's your payload. Yeah. And that's your all up weight. That so is a drive, lot. Drive it on a car license. We've got a motorhome very, very similar in layout, but it's about a ton heavier. Right, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Different body works. And yeah. Because I can't actually drive it on my license at all. I need to get my C1 on it. Mm. That's really neat. Are you looking neat. to change then? Or? Well, we're always looking, but I'm impressed by how much less that is in yeah. weight. Yeah. Cool. Fantastic, lovely, thank you very much. This is the Swift Freestyle 612. Oh, I'm throwing my bottles of water around, that's not good, is it? seating area. Love the front seats. It's very similar to a lot of the other vans in this sort of it's a wet room. Now they've got a separate shower. We've got a fridge under there. Here's some cupboard space. Decent size oven. It's a good cupboard space, it's quite sweet, isn't it? 
So, this is the death left, what's it called? Okay. So this isn't the pulse we're getting. But, but it's a similar, similar sort of layout. Similar layout, so we'll actually see what it looks like. And this is what Tash and John from Life Life Beyond Bricks, isn't it? I always think it's Life After Bricks, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> life After Bricks. With an enormous... You've got the huge garage as well. That's really cool. Yeah, it might have because this is adjustable as well, so the motorbike could still go in. I You're taking a bike? Yeah, it might oh, be amazing! Yeah, no, because that lifts up. That, that lifts up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll oh, be fine. perfect. It'll be fine. It'll be <laughs> fine. So the whole bed lifts up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really clever. Yeah, it's a longitudinal bed as well, but it does move up that's and down. That's neat. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a bigger garage than the Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Right then, let's go and have a look inside. So, what have we got inside? I like that, that's loads of space. So this makes a double bed, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe? Um, yeah, I think so. It is a four bed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, sorry, I know the car one will be an A class, so it'll be a drop down. Oh, have you? you yeah. have you got a drop down and a fixed? Yes. Yeah, so you've got oh, a cool. down there. But um, nice. well, we really like the layout, but the feeling of space when you walk yes. in. Because you, you don't have that half the net, so you walk in. So there'll be space for the cat scratchers and, <laughs> and all sorts of things. So. Do they know you've got cats? Yeah, oh yeah, they know we've oh, got that's cats. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So yeah, so this is not exactly the same one, but it is similar, so. Oh, it's nice and fridge. That is huge. Oh, hang on, all right, there's got to be a clever. I'm, do you know, I'm so bad at opening lockers. There we go. There we go. But I think we've got a separate fridge and freezer. Or have we got one no, of those? Same as that. Same as that, yeah. Line, yeah. That's so huge. Massive, isn't it? It's probably yeah. bigger than our fridge at home, to be fair. Nice, I like that. Separate toilet shower. Ooh, right, hang on, I have to. Do you want to hold that for me? I'll hold that. Everyone I'm doing, I'm doing a funky chicken thing. Oh, okay. Can you get in the shower? No. <laughs> oh, guys, you are going to be stuck. No, because we're quite short. <laughs> <laughs> you we're, get in the shower and do the funky chicken like, thing. Yeah, you get Go in the on, shower. go okay. and try drying I yourself with a towel in the shower. I can do that, see? Yeah, you come out. Do, do that how you dry yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the door shut, obviously. <laughs> awesome. And then this bed yeah. lifts up for storage, I guess. Yeah. So you can raise the whole bed, can you? So you can, yeah. yeah you That's can really lift. cool. I don't know if you can lift the whole thing, but you can get to there and you've got storage there yeah, and you've sure got decent right. headroom hang on i'm just thinking these two are short i get normal person size is yeah <laughs> bless you we've <laughs> so got loads yeah. of storage i know and look we've got actual wardrobe like individual wardrobe his and hers which is quite exciting like that i haven't Normally on the toilet yet it's lush wow that is nice yeah does it come with a random apple that no, I don't. Shuts. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's, that's, that shuts the bedroom oh, off. Oh, so you've got like a whole. So it's like an ensuite. Oh, so you don't matter if you can't do the funky chicken in the shower then. No, I mean, I Because you've got a whole area. Yeah. Oh, quite like It just it. depends if you know what's going on, if you're on site or. Yeah. Or if you don't mind your neighbours seeing what's going on. It is. So, yeah, that's so quite is exciting. Similar, so, yeah, it is exciting actually. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Very cool. Very exciting. 